Hey guys, hope you're doing great. I wanted to share with you something that I used to do. I used to sell on eBay. I still do a little bit here and there, but not as much as I did back in 2002 for about seven years. It was a good, good seven years. Um, I sold all kinds of stuff. It was really cool. See my, I've got uh, 5,003 positive feedback. I, it was huge. I was shipping out anywhere from 20 to maybe even 30 packages a day. But I'll show, share with you what I was selling. Um, back in 2009, I had to, I had to stop. But um, I'll just kind of share with you what I did sell. I sold an ebook for 14.95. And I used to sell these tablets. I'll just scroll down and kind of share with you. Let's see. I used to sell all kinds of stuff. There's more tablets. Oh, there's a negative. Um, oh yeah, um, I used to buy pre-owned authentic designer handbags and then resell them on eBay. That was really cool. My biggest seller were breast forms. Um, I was targeting women who have had mastectomies and needed breast forms, and that was a huge, huge seller. There's more authentic Louis Vuitton handbags, Gucci. Um, Nixon watches, I had a connection for that. More Louis Vuitton. More ebooks on where to get your inventory. The list just goes on and on. More Nixon watches. Anyways, um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Made great, great income with it. Unfortunately, I had to fold fold up the business back in 2009. Um, now, through personal development, I realize all the things I did <laughs> wrong with the business. Um, I guess you could call me a recovering um, a recovering recovering spender. <laughs> Um, I've learned through personal development that there's four different types of money personalities. People tend to be either a spender, a saver, a voider, and there's one other I'm, I'm missing. Oh, money monk, it's called. Um, but I was definitely a spender. I spent it faster than it was coming in. Didn't have a, a budget or, or a plan or a money management plan. So, back in 2009, because I was spending more than what was coming in, I had, I had to fold it up. But now I'm more wise, <laughs> um, doing a lot better financially, definitely learned my lesson, and uh, I'm thankful for that. Love being online. Um, selling on eBay, that was such a joy. And now I've stepped into the world of vlogging and I'm having so much fun with it. It's such, it's become such an addiction. Um, like yesterday I didn't post a video and I felt bummed out about it. Um, but I just, I just love being in front of my computer. I love being online. And, um, so stepping into this new whole world of vlogging has been so much fun and it's so cool we've got 55 subscribers with over 6,000 views 
so far um, really have um, you know stepped into it in the last couple of months and also I wanted to share with you guys uh, uh, my friend in Japan that I met online through vlogging. That's another great thing about vlogging. You get to meet all these wonderful, great, great friends and mommies and get to connect and it's been so much fun. Let me see if I can find her here. Oh, there's a baby. Let me get him real quick. <laughs> there she is. Life with Leah is her channel name. There's her husband and Cute little Brandon. He's so adorable. Huh, we've been having so much fun watching them and connecting with them. So that's one of the things about vlogging. I didn't realize that we would be connecting with all these cool people online. So that's a big part of why I've been loving vlogging. But um, yeah, definitely check, check her channel out. I'll put a link of her channel in the description below and oh. say hi and oh. t definitely tell them thank you for serving our com country. Brandon loves watching little Brandon. It's the cutest thing. They're really close in age. Aww, you two are so close in age. He's all the way in Japan. Can you believe it? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you poo everywhere. So yeah, that was one little thing I wanted to share with you guys. I love being online. I've always loved being in front of the computer and being online. I just wanted to share that little part of my life back in, from 2002 to 2009 selling on eBay. Really, really enjoyed that. And I still, like I was saying, I still do it a little bit here and there, but not as big as I had it before. I literally had half my garage full of inventory just shipping out boxes every single day. It was a lot of fun. Great way to be home and uh, bring in bring in that income. So, but gosh, and with vlogging, one one other thing, um, it's not easy to do it every every single dang day. I'll definitely give props up to the people who do it every single day. That it's definitely not easy, <laughs> but um. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching this little video, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.